Hi, fellow starseeds. This is James Starseed Van Prague. I should cut that out somehow and put something else in there. Maybe just start, whatever. I want to thank you very much for tuning into this channel and this space here. And it's because of you that I'm doing this segment. And it is one that you've asked for in the comments below. I read all the comments and the most, uh, uh, I'd say the most requested was uh, for me to tell you about the different readings that I've had and share them with you. And I've been doing this close to 39, 40 years, whatever that is, whatever time is, a long time. And through those many hundreds of thousands of readings and messages, it's hard to remember all of them, of course. People often think I do, but I'd be crazier than I am. So I don't. But there certainly are some that have stuck into my heart. And some of them I've made lifelong friends. And I want to share with you some of those poignant readings and messages, sessions that I've had. So one of the first ones was back probably 1992, if my mind serves me correctly. And I was uh, living in an apartment in Hollywood at the time, no money whatsoever. And a gentleman came to this session, 11 o'clock in the morning, and his name was Peter. And I never met him before, knew nothing about the gentleman. I, said, I never, never know anything about anybody who comes to see me. And uh, immediately, uh, within five, 10 minutes, there was a nun that showed up behind him. And she still had her um, nun garb on. And she said her name was Sister Marguerite. And I said, is this Sister Marguerite here? And do you understand that? And Peter looks stunned. He goes, I, I, yes. And he grew up in England. And uh, uh, it went on and said, she's apologizing. She said, she's very, very sorry. She's sorry. She said she hurt you in some way. She's very, very sorry. And later on, he said to me, James, that was very incredible because I was uh, adopted. And as a young boy, I was in an orphanage run by nuns. And this Sister Marguerite was one who was responsible for hitting me. She abused me. She beat me. And um, I have never forgiven her for that. And it's amazing you brought her in as well. She's here today to ask for your forgiveness because she knows what she did was wrong. Another part of that reading, which was quite incredible, and I was thinking probably one of the most incredible readings and messages, was I then went on to say, uh, or ask Peter, I said, uh, do you understand someone with the name of Michael? There's a gentleman here and it says, uh, Michael, and he's of your blood. He said, I, that does not mean anything to me. I don't know that. I mean, that's senseless. I don't know. He said, well, he's very strong here. And he said, he wants to let you know he's your, he's your brother. And he's of your blood. And he's um, with you. And you'll know it's him. Okay. And there were other details that came through. Uh, he had a partner that passed over that came through and showed me the apartment they lived in, down to the details of what was on the side table of the bed and that, the f albums that were uh, there and the, uh, right next to the photograph. The photograph. And it was, it was pretty amazing. But... Um, he called me on later, I guess a week later, and he said, um, I called England and talked to my aunt. And I asked her about who was Michael, because I went to a medium, and he said, um, name Michael. And she said, that's amazing. Your mother had a child named Michael before you were born, and it died at birth, and she didn't want to tell you about that. So that was pretty incredible with that. That was an amazing experience. And since that time, uh, Peter and I became good friends. There was a, a connection between us. And we have um, developed a lovely lifelong long friendship. And we sat in development circles together. And it was Peter, Peter Redgrove, who was really responsible for me for writing my first book, which is called Talking to Heaven. And Peter was uh, like a professional nudge. And he said, you have done so much for people, you need to write a book about the sessions and the messages you've given people to give them hope, to give them an understanding, a different perspective of life and death. And you have to do that. And we believe that he was put in my life for bringing that to the forefront. And it's because of Peter that we are here today. I am here today and you're here watching this. So that was the most, one of the most incredible readings.